What's up everybody? I am so excited. I'm leaving my house super early because I'm gonna go pick up one of the most exciting new lizards I have ever gotten. And guess what? Now that I have this much space, I could put some bigger animals out here. So there's a little clue for you. Stay tuned. This is gonna be an awesome lizard. It's one of the most exciting animals I've gotten in a long time. And uh, yeah, let's, this fly is going up my nose. I'm over here walking Lino right now, getting ready. But uh, yeah, dude. This is, this is one of my most exciting projects ever. So stay tuned. We are here, finally. All right, guys, I'm just in my car right now. I'm not gonna take the animal out, but I will open up the box, make sure he's doing good and he's alive. All right, I just opened up the box and he is moving, he is alive and well. So let's take him to the facility and get him set up. Thank you, Paul. All right, guys, so I'm finally at HQ and here is my new little dinosaur. I'm so excited for you guys to see what's in here. This is gonna be its enclosure for now. As you can see, this was actually Chowder's old enclosure. And Manny just got here so he could uh, come over here and do the, uh, do the unboxing for me or with me. But check this out. Is that my new birthday gift? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Get over here. I'm literally just like, are you on fire? Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna open it up in here and it's gonna fly out in here, hopefully. But, uh, no. Yeah, I feel like it's very He's trying to be super skittish. Look at this little oh. dinosaur. He is super skittish <laughs> right now. I know you probably didn't get a good look because uh, Manny kind of got in the way a little bit. But <laughs> this is a black dragon, a melanistic Asian water monitor. He is, I got chowder, the albino, and now we got a uh, melanistic. So we're super excited to grow this one out and hopefully it'll be a huge and tame water monitor. He's a little skittish right now. He's freaked out because of the trip, I understand. So I'm not gonna mess with him too much, but I wanted to show you guys what we got and it's finally here. So the black dragon is actually the same species as the albino water monitor that we have. They're just nicknamed black dragon because obviously they're full melanistic. And what's cool about these guys is this is actually a wild mutation that's found in Sumatra. And you know, there's actually the, a lot of animals in Sumatra are like really high in melanin. But um, these guys, there's two different localities of black dragons. There's the Sumatran, and then there's another one I don't remember off the top of my head. Now the Sumatran do get a little bit bigger. Generally, the males will have um, a lot of more, you know, they'll be a little bit bulkier, longer than the females. And I'm hoping this guy is a male because I want him to get as big as possible. But as you can see, he's already trying to come up here and bask. He is right there. And he is just, you know, absolutely incredible. He's about to go into a shed too. He's actually going through a shed right now. So it'll be a while before he, um, before he sheds, but I'm gonna be in the next couple, you know, days be working with him. At first, I'm just gonna like put my hand in the enclosure, just let him, you know, see that I'm not here to hurt him or anything, offer him food um, from tongs. And that way he associates me with food um, you don't ever want to like restrain these guys if you don't have to um, because they will really, that can really hinder your relationship with them uh, as far as I've been told. Uh, obviously this is my second water monitor so I don't have that much experience with them but I have been watching a lot of videos from Nerd, Kevin McCurley, I've been talking to a lot of people. Paul, the, the guy who sold me this animal also has had a lot of experience with them so I, you know, I've been listening to what a lot of people have been saying and that's basically what I'm getting. You know, you don't wanna force yourself onto them. You wanna let them slowly and surely build a relationship with you. They're very smart animals, so you don't wanna like, you don't wanna have any bad interactions with them. You always wanna end 
every interaction on a positive note. So even if he, this is what I've been told, that even if he, you know, is when I take him out, he kind of tail whips me or something, you gotta keep holding him and wait until he calms down before you put him back. You don't want him to tail whip you and then put him back because then he's gonna learn that, okay, when I tail whip him or when I bite him or whatever, he's gonna let go of me and, and leave me alone. So you wanna make sure these guys get um, acclimated to humans because they do get very large and they're very, they could do a lot of damage with their claws, their mouth and their tail. Once they're of a you know six foot long monitor, it's not like a regular, you know, three foot uh, savanna monitor. It's a little bit more of a, you know, like a dangerous animal. But um, obviously once they're socialized, they are puppy dog tame. You have seen um, guys like Jay from Prehistoric Pets have these guys and they've, they're just like sweetheart animals. So I'm really excited. I hope that this guy will be as tame as some of those other monitors I've met in the past. And I'm really excited to work with them, man. This is one of my dream animals. I've always wanted really big lizards. Now that we have the space to do that, we could keep them outside and once they get big, of course. And yeah. These guys are awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video. And now this is a black dragon and that reminds me, we are having the huge Black Friday sale, obviously the day after Thanksgiving. People keep asking me what day is our Black Friday sale? Well, it's on Black Friday. Now, 50% off all our Crested Geckos like we have done in the previous years and 50% off all our Gargoyle Geckos. This is the first time anybody's ever done this. We have a lot of gargoyle geckos, a lot of really nice gargoyle geckos, you guys know. We are wanting to get them into you guys' hands, so make sure you check us out on Black Friday. If you sign up to the email newsletter on our website, you will get an early access code discount. So make sure you do that if you're interested in getting something from us. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on all our social media, and I will see you guys in the next video. This guy is awesome.